بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين بعدين قلنا على تنتو قتا من جرتك تنتو واتو واتي دول ما فنسوتو من تنبتا ألالا دول ما نجيك فنسوتو من تنبتا ألالا ndol be solorin alala wato wati ntitano ala koma subhana wala tinna mba tentula tenturo adan nasiri mwala ukola kadani kishola ani nemo ayake muhammadiye abdullahi dimma atafanang انتا جونولا انكتا محمد انتا جونولا اي انتو الكنو باكي اباتاتا انتو اللاكوالا اباتاتا على يمين ديالا اكو فاسي فوتا مولما يا فونتين دي ala wulu banko ya lipa ya abu mberola ube asabarta faye nato soto ayentolje ako waditu lau anni raitu ikhwani anyin nata nana badi ngolje sahabu lkai ko Fontol manke badent Ako altol mun na tanyo leti Na badingol Wole minu bina Ntol kola Ibe danke ni ya rintema Ayatara imanje Alama alayi mbula umol kono Wakamala Ntol fanan kale duwa ya nasidu lalto Wole muka sali kilama Watu wati ya tomoy Isi salama صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم كيلاكو صلى الله عليه وسلم ميسال تا انتكان سينيا كيلين على سسالي تكان سينيا تان وتو على ما على يالا كيسو نالا نيمو جيدي وكيلاما انا لدنبال انا لتانيول انين مومو بلا تاسين فانو ما وجنين يوم القيامة Ubeko la ka alfal tentu Kabo imam sohna, imam kaba, imam jagana Imam musa, imam kotengol Alfa kotengol funding kewol Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuhu Bismillahirrahmanirrahim The sheikh he starts in the name of Allah the most gracious, the most merciful. He says, All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. He sends salat and salam upon our noble messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, upon his family and his companions. He says to you, O brothers, he praises Allah, the only one who deserves to be praised. He praises him as he is deserving of praise all the time. He says, We have nothing except Allah. He says, we have no hope in anyone except Allah. He said, we are in need of Allah all the time. He says, we cannot go without Allah. He says, this is, this is why we seek Allah's aid and help all the time. He says, he asks Allah to send his salat and salam upon his noble prophet, Ibn Abdullah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He says, 
of the Prophet as well, we cannot pay him. He says, our beloved Prophet Muhammad وسلم, we cannot reward him. He says, the Prophet وسلم, he loved us, he exhausted himself for us, he was exiled for us, he was beaten for us, he was stoned for us, and he was patient with all of that. He says, so it is upon us, as he said, that he wished and he hoped that he would see his brothers and the sahabas, the companions, they asked him, are we not your brothers? He said, no, you are my companions. Indeed, my brothers are those who believed in me and they have not seen me yet. They have not come yet. He says, so salat and salam upon that noble prophet and messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa He says, we must try our best to send a lot of salat and salam upon him. He says, because Allah said in the hadith, whoever does so one time, Allah will send the same amount, but reward or send ten times that amount. He says, so salat and salam upon him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He says, afterwards, he would like to greet the elders. He would like to greet Imam Sona, Imam Kaba, Imam Baba, and all the other Imams. And the elders and the youth, the men and the women, he says to you all, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bi inshallah na kasha labango na nying tabo kono inshallah na altol. Abetarala dending ikarmiye utunyoma fulol la hako. ila patna ninkete ila musoti ninkete kema ibeya hako ya sasa alundol ika ajeko mwalada mankuma ya akuma atale ninka mako mbe nyola hako saindila ila hako salaba isalam ila tu adunna lhuko ujibi aya bamba ninyami aka muntako kafu wallahi albi hako sayyidina di muso la hako ni ya sato to ba qiyama ba sayyidina di kema la hako ni ya sato iman son ka diya la ba sayyidina yawm al qiyama ila dimba al fanan wa nyama ila sinu al fanan wa nyama aga mun ta kontol mo mo ndol kono hakolle ba kunna anyanna cikala ayadi imarilla abewo hakol kono ila muso la hako muso fanan ake mal hako tol nyanna min hakol na na kachala wala tinna bi nyu wala da tombo mo mo se hakilotu imonyo la hako la yomal qiyama be hakol sayyidina mote dunna aljana wallahi dun dimba kono o wandi hakoli wa sayyid ke dol be lola yomal qiyama ila muso be kani la hakola muso dol be lola yomal qiyama ke nyol be kani la hakola wala tinan tol be nyanna hakilo tula nyola hakoto alama alayna aljana The Sheikh, he says, today, inshallah, his last meeting with us, he says his farewell speech will be regarding a topic that talks about the rights of the spouses. He says each and every one of us has a right over his spouse. He says your partner, that is your wife, she has a right over you. He says, your partner, which may be your husband, he also has a right over you. He says, they all have rights that which must be given to them, those which are owed to them. He says, some people, they see this topic as not necessary. They don't see it as important. He says, and indeed, it is very important. 
He says, the Prophet وسلم, said, that indeed you will surely give the rights back to those whom it was taken away from. He says, the Prophet وسلم, said it as if he was swearing that you will surely, no doubt, return the rights of those whom you have taken. He says, so, O you husband, the rights of your wife that you take away from her, you will surely return them. He says, surely, O you wife, the rights of your husband that you take from him, you will surely return them. He says the same thing, the rights of your family that you take away from them, you will surely return them. He says the same thing, the rights of your neighbors, those that you take away from them, you will surely return them. He says, meaning each and every one of us has a right and he must be given his due right. He says, so from those that are owed their rights among us are their wives. He says, each wife has a right upon her husband and each husband has a right upon his wife. He says, this is why he chose this topic today to remind us of these rights. He says, on Yomul Qiyamah, we will surely return these rights. He says, some men on the Day of Judgment will come and their wives will be requesting their rights back, those that they took away from them. He says the same thing, some women will come on the Day of Judgment and their husbands will be requesting their rights that they took away from them. He asks Allah to help us. أنات حديث أبي أبي ذر رضي الله عنه أبي ذر ركو كلا صلى الله عليه وسلم أي ساجي فلاجة يبين يوم كلا ساجي فلا يبين كلا ولا كلا عليه الصلاة والسلام أي أبو ذر كلي أكايا أبو ذر ويا لون نساجي فلون كمنك كلا Kanyo jungku mana lah? Abu Dar, Abu Kila, Abu Ala, Ana Ala Kila, Rasulullah Sallam, Wali Allah, Jamalah. Kila ko Abu Dar ya ko, ka Ala ya Allah ni, abe kiti ya kile tem. Kamu saji fula le, saji fula. Kiling ay binosoto. Kiling o aman binosoto. Ikeleta. Ijoteta. Yomal qiyama. Ala subhanahu wa ta'ala sa joro kenyi imam binosoto. Kabo nyin na miyalo mkwa ay binosoto. Zatumwa. Okoto mumunati. Hako albesendi. Nata rabbeya ngol damma. Dhamma le kanyola hako sendi Uta hada matingol de kala nyati Walatina ntolbe Nyena sila la hako la Sakantuma ike ma la hako Wala ila muso la hako Nyimpe kala kensel Tibe nyini nkala la yom al qiyama Anomba jola Yom al qiyama joro benyami Barajo junubo Amirambenga wala mkodi tije, dola tije, pound tije, real tije. Mumbe kela joro tikodo ti, wale mu hasanat anin asayyat. Nye wandi hako nakar, yomal kiyama ibele barajo tala. Yadi mula, nyalo nko, yala hako nakar. Nita atafu ila, barajo lbanta ila hako. Nyanna min sendi la mambang Ise wulla Junubo taka la Iteka So wala nantul Benya nasila la hako la Sakantuma ikema la hako Wala ila muso la hako Wala ila dimon Ila dimba la hako Ndol benya nasila la hako Mudol bije ibatata nyan dunia To hema tina naman ke hako Tinyano kai wala naka Dol ni don tak kuat kuat apa kali ya, sekian waktu ayah lama solat tuan. Musa dol bujuran orang kau memang kendera, 
አስከኖ አያቄ ማለት ሆነ በሪ ምን ቢጄ ዶሮን ቶል በእኛና ሲለባ ሐቆላ አኒ ዲን ዲን መረም ወላ ሐቆ ካና ነካ አከታያ ሰይን ሰካንቱማ ሙሶ ሰካንቱማ ያው አለማ አለና ጀማ ለ ሼክ he says it came in the hadith of abu dhar he mentioned that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam saw two sheep they were head butting each other they were fighting he says the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam called him ya abu dhar do you know why these two animals are fighting do you know why they are head butting each other the sahaba responded allah and his messenger know best he says so the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam responded to him indeed allah knows exactly for what reason they are fighting and allah will make sure whoever is wrong or whoever has taken the right of the order that his right will be returned to him he says so pay attention to this closely these were two sheep one sheep had horns and the other one did not have horns and one took the right of the other and he is saying allah will make sure whoever was wrong among these two animals he will return the right of the other he says and these are animals if animals will be returned or if their rights will be returned to them what about us human beings he says then surely we must be careful of taking other people's rights he says then oh you husband be careful of taking your wife's rights away from her and oh you wife be careful of taking your husband's rights away from him he says indeed yawmul qiyamah those rights that you have taken you will surely return them he says and indeed on the day of judgment there is no payment of money you will not give back people their rights by paying them money rank allah he says rather but the compensation on that day the way you will pay people back for taking their rights away from them is by the deeds he says some people their good deeds will be taken away from them and it will be given to those whom they took their rights away from them and this will be done until all of their good deeds have finished and then if he still owes other people their rights the sins of those people will be taken and placed upon him he says then therefore we must be very careful of taking other people's rights he says oh you husband be careful of taking your wife's rights he says oh you wife be careful of taking your husband's rights he says be careful of taking the rights of your family he says some people they spend their whole life taking the rights of other people he says perhaps a man will be trying his best but he will not succeed in whatever he is doing because of the rights he has taken because of the oppression he has caused other people he said the same thing perhaps a woman maybe she is sick and her health she will never recover it because of the oppression she has caused others because of the rights she has taken he says even a child even a young child you must be very careful of taking their rights because no doubt you will return their rights he asks allah to help us the more full of in beta they want you so na ya long ko nin ne mo hako ti nyen na dila mo nyola nim fana ye wolon waka ke sababoti kairo ye soto bun kono aka ke sababoti bun o ye dia ase ke sababoti kairo ye sabati kutu o adia tale because kairo doro na bije niaje ila futu bungo mandia ese fan korosi alla tanya amambe 
kilinne kilinna ka kilinne kilinna hako naka bani wonten bungoni futoni amubun netimialon ko adiyata kairo doron na bije ala ko min ayatihi khalaqa lakum min anfusikum azwajan litaskunu ilayha wa ja'ala bainakum mawaddatan wa rahmah alako abala ka wa qul kana ala subhanahu wa ta'ala abala ka wa qul kana ay dadaro kali kabo alfan bala ikus adam alayhi salatu wassalam ala tarkulun tarkulun ya hawa dadawale ko anata sunno to nyami so muso nyi patlem kabo kabo bala litaskunu ilaiha pur alsa sabati muni musabato ni botanan do ko dula inata yanna dahala muni be dahandila wala moila sabati dinkira muso musabati dinkira ti miyalan ko aka kewa dahandi kewo fana musabati dinkira ti miyalan ko ase muso dahandi Ajibe daha be dawada kairo be walet jankumo be dawada kairo be walet ako waja'ala bainakum mawaddatan wa rahma mawadda no kano anin rahma kabala fani wa sulat na futubu ila futubu krosi ila ala ila ila bu na man tembe drong kairo tije hapi tije albuka jele along ko fenne bi jemiyan ko ayanna timma laje bara aman timma wala tinnan tul de yanna katala musul haqqolon dol kewol musul fanan le kewol la haqqolon musul kala fi minna yanna wolon ma kewo fanan ala musul ayanna lan na kewo kala fi minna so momo ise dur koto ke kurko haqqol di kul kala fin na ko nyin ke mada ma anin ala sokonte man ke ala sokote lafta min bamban ni la jang wala mu janni be dun na ko ko no alon jumale mu musoti musoni en fanansa lon jumale mu kewati anyan na lon na ni ko ko janni be dun na je londo le nyan na saba na wala tin na se beti ya fondin ke on ya lon ko non futu folo bari hani mol miyal ko fututa bawo karango bo katambi na muru nga jibe ban muni bije miyal ko amman kita na ko bungoto jumale mu musoti muni mala hakoti akala fi munela na tara musole musafo jumale mu kewoti kewo kala fi munela muni mu kewo la hakoti isaje ase dur ko to ke pur ke nyin ko wallo tarafa do bije mi alon kon kana nyina ala wale mu kewo salon ko nyim mu solem de amante ma mu so fanan salon ko mu hada maddi wale tede amante 100% poko to mu munati nyin kana fo ko ndel hako mba soto la 100% fente mislaje nyim fanan sa fo ko ndel hako nyenna be timmandi la fente nasilaje do ni wo keta doro problem o fele gos ni manke malaikoti ni muhada madin walati aka mistake le aka nyina le aka boyde wala tinna ni kara fulol be nyenna kali yam fanyoye wato wat ni wonten doro fitno be kala ni wonten doro bungo ka kandile ni wonten doro ken kungo te soto nola bungol Ika ke dolje ni jita do kudula ateta suwa kono nyin kamma ko suwa kono je be kandire ni aka daiva dila e kof a eta a be kacha soto lo dami e musu dol fana nje ate koron tola a ke ma e na na be na a ki jole ka far o le ya be be na ba jala ko balu le nyin timi anong ko a man dia andung futu wala balu a man nyan na kela ko nyama ko to na be je wala mum bije asala hakolong asadiala nim faransa la hakolong asadiala 
የሳጀ ጉሞኒ ተተምበ ነው አለማለይ ነው ጉሞል ተመን ሸህ ፒሰስ ለ ዲስ ቱ ፒፕል ዘ ሀዝባን እንድ ዘ ዋይፍ ኢች ዋን ሀዝ ሂዝ ኦ ሀ ራይት ሂ ሰዝ ኢፍ ዘ ሀዝባን ኢስ ኬርፉል ኦፍ ዘ ራይትስ ኦፍ ሂዝ ዋይፍ ዚስ ዊል ሪዞልት ኢንቱ ፒስ አንድ ኢዝ ሂ ሰዝ ዘ ሴም ቲንግ ኢፍ ዘ ዋይፍ if she is careful of the rights of her husband this will result into ease and peace he says if both of them take care of each other's rights this will result into peace he says if both of them take care of each other's rights this will result into happiness he says if both of them take care of each other's rights this will result into peace he says why because marriage is sweet He says marriage is sweet because there is only good in it. He says if you see your marriage is not going well then check yourselves. It is perhaps one of you has taken the rights of the other. He says it may be that the husband has taken the rights of his wife or the wife she has taken the rights of her husband. He says if this happens then there will not be ease and peace and happiness among the two of you. He says and this is what must be. He says because Allah says wa min ayatihi an khalaqa lakum min anfusikum azwaja that from his signs uh that he created for you or from you your spouses. The Sheikh says meaning Allah created your wife or the spouse from her husband. He says as our mother Hawa Allah created her from the side the ribs of Adam alayhi salam. He says Allah says why litaskunu ilayha so that he may find a source of settlement with her. He may find ease and tranquility living with her. He says because the woman will bring ease and peace to her husband he says and the same thing the husband will bring ease and peace to his wife he says the reason being as allah says wa ja'ala bainakum mawaddatan wa rahma that he placed between the two of you love and mercy he says allah is saying love and mercy here meaning to bring the two of you together He says if this is absent then your marriage will not be good. He says so then we must know the rights of each other. He says the husband must know the rights of his wife and the same thing the wife she must know the rights of her husband. He says if they both do this the husband knows the rights of his wife and the wife she knows the rights of her husband then the two of them will live in khair he says but if they do not do this if the husband doesn't give his wife her rights or the wife doesn't give the rights of her husband to him then their marriage will not result into good he says the point before we enter into marriage we must know the rights of our spouses he says the husband must know the rights of his wife and the wife must know the rights of her husband He says therefore all you young men and women who have not yet married before you get into marriage you must gain knowledge about the rights of your spouses you must gain knowledge about marriage He says and also those who have already been married he says because knowledge does not pass you can still acquire the knowledge to be able to give the rights of your spouses to them He says you must know and learn the rights of your wife. If you are a husband, you must know what are the rights of your wife. If you are a husband, you must know what are the things that your wife likes. If you are a husband, you must know what are the things that the woman she needs. He says and the same thing, if you are a man, 
if you're a woman rather, you must know the rights of your husband. You must know the things that your husband likes. You must know the things that your husband needs. He says, also, we must be careful on the other side. We must be careful because the woman is not complete. He says, so the man should not be demanding all his rights. He said, the same way the man, the woman should know that the man is not perfect as well. He is not 100%. So she must not say, I will demand all of my rights completely. He says, because why? Each and every one of them, they make mistakes. He says, the husband and the wife, they both forget. He says, the husband and the wife, they both make errors. They are not angels. He says, so they must forgive one another for their mistakes. And if they do this, they will avoid fitna. He says, but if they do not do so and request all of their rights, then their household will not have peace. He says, their household will have fitna. He says, you will find some men after work, they do not go home. He says, they will divert themselves and go somewhere else to find a source of peace to chat with other people. He says, why? Because their house, in their house rather, there is fitna. He said the same thing, you will find some women, the time for their husbands to come back home, they are afraid. They are not eager to see their husbands come back home. He says, why? Because in their households, there is fitna. He says, so each and every one of them must try his best to give the other one their rights, but not oppress the other one. He asks Allah to help our homes. Musu ni mkewo ila misalo beko nengo ani nyingo dakona. Ya je ni edomoro fai dakona yika nyoma kwe nyami. Musu ni mkewo yika nyoma kwe ule nyami. Bari nengo ani nyingo iki ya tanyawonya lundo ekras nyola. Obo kabaige Bari kewo mingi haki la soto Akajibi na problemo Mba jara la nyadi Muso fana miyano nko amanta penta Akakata la problemo Aba jara la nyami Mule tambita mimfisi hata ntolti sinya keme Bari inila muso ljoteta Bemisalu mindila Olemu ilati sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Dolbe nga alam kuke kunda Motije mwende kila santo bete yaka Anala muso minkata Aisha radiyallahu anha Ana joteta Musu tije mwende siyata Aisha Musu tije mwende siyata Aisha Ana ke maa problem sato إلى عليه الصلاة والسلام أنا على مشوي الطولب حديثه لي أنا إلى داجكو كما لو كما إمام problemو فمن دون تكيلا صلى الله عليه وسلم أني عايشة تيما إمام يمين فولمو بن دون تيما داجكو كم لو يمين صلى إلى ألفالة كوتو كما أسكنو يالو أسكنو إمام بارين صلى تمينا إيجو تيما Iman yu faham. Ila alayhi salatu salam. Ajibi asone ya tanyami. Ako ya Aisha. Ayakini. Fu ibi sonna ifama. Minketa abu wakarti. Ayike hiti lati ni tema. Aha. Aisha ko nisonta. Aymuki. Ita abu wakar kumandi. Ita ata ikaya kwa kila bila Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Anata aman tarde Isi ita Ila jivye kote nke Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Ya Aisha Nte nga foba Nga dati nga saata Fu ite ya saata kolo Nye jivye Akan karandila Akan karandila Mbe Aisha jivye Ayamane fo Ako kila kwa anihi salatu wa sallam Afu, marikana fenfo, mimangetonyade. 
لا حول ولا قوه جان لونال كو موسو اسمبو ادنن وتا جان كيو سمبو بمينتو يا باري موسو سمبو بمينتو نيموت فلان جان موسو كا فيم فو انيموتو امانترا سوندومون ولكن يقولون ان يكون هناك فوتو 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 Nengoto amantara sisoto. Inyana umoyla. Amantara ya fengo fengo doro ya muta. Hani. Isafo yika wangu. Imaje nyinka mifoyi. Nyiman la fina. Hani na laftale. Bari musole duwa nyamu. Aisha jibi ya kukila kwa hani hii salatu salam. Kuma. Bari kana fengo mima nke tonya. Fu Aisha sikata kukila be tonya tano folaba. Hani. Bari anengoto. Mampu tajal Abu Bakar wukuma kango Aya kamfa Alfa munde kwa Muhammad Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Rasulullah Ikanyi nkuma kule mufam Musole bewanya Dizi imam oje mulbe ya abunya Musole bafle Echim Nyele kulolo Musole bewanya Wala tina momo, jani wedunda nyimbundato ila nala na jumale mwenyei data mwati. Jumale mwenyei mwuso wati. Nyanna alona. Abu Bakar wa mansa barino, awul tadorong ikaya Aisha Tulobo. Muna nabe wa ufala kila. Akaba afla njana kota nke dorong, Aisha Borta, adenda takila koma. Sainso nko bandala sainso. Waide ni minkia uja saibe maabore wule koma. Wala tina ntolbe nya nina haki lo tulaje. Problemo buka bae. Nia amira kwa itebe muso soto la mnyana mko problemo te soto la. Ite wa soto la jat. Ite muso fanang. Nia amira kwa ibe kewa soto la mnyana mko. Ite lafta minna abi wale kila honda pasa. Ite wa soto la jat. Ntolte wa soto la jat. Because muna tina. Yendanya ami. Ntol mumole ti mnyana mko. Mka mistake mka boy. Wala tina nyinkara fululbe. Nya nina haki lo tulanyoye. Eka ya mfanyoye. Isa aje futu wa nyeze dia. Alama ala inaldema. The Sheikh. He says. The example of the woman and the man. The wife and her husband. Is like the teeth and the tongue. He says, do you not see when food is thrown into the mouth, how the two help each other? How the tongue and the teeth, they help each other to eat the food? He says, so the example of the man and his wife is like that. He says, but look at the two, the tongue and the teeth. Even though... They are always helping each other. One day, one might harm the other. He says the same thing, the husband and his wife, even though they may always be helping each other, one might harm the other. He says, but the wise man, he knows not to act upon the problem, but rather to try to solve it. He says the same woman, the same thing, the righteous woman, she knows not to act upon the problem, but to try to solve it. He says there were people before us who were a hundred times better than us. He says, but they had problems with their spouses. He says, and he will give you an example to explain this. He says he gives you the example of the prophet. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam He says as we all know There is no man 
better than the Prophet وسلم, he said he had a problem with his wife, our mother Aisha anha. He says, and we all know there is no woman better than her. There is no woman greater than her in virtue. He says the hadith, it mentions that they had a problem among them. He says they did not mention what the problem was out of good manners. He says the people did not say what happened, what went wrong out of good manners for their elders. He said, but they mentioned that they had a problem. He said, so when the problem occurred, when the issue happened, our mother Aisha anha, the Prophet وسلم, told her, would you accept your father Abu Bakr to be a judge between us? She said yes. So the Prophet وسلم, he sent someone to call Abu Bakr so the person told him or the person went and he called Abu Bakr and he told him the Prophet is asking for you. So Abu Bakr went and he responded to the Prophet and the Sheikh he said when he came when he entered upon the Prophet وسلم, and our mother Aisha anha, the Prophet وسلم, told Aisha should I speak first or should I let you speak first? And then the Sheikh he said, Aisha anha said to the Prophet, You speak first, but do not say anything except the truth. He says, Subhanallah. This is the Prophet. He says, and he's being told this statement do not say anything except the truth. He says, but this is the nature of women. Their power is in their tongue. He said the same way the men, their power is in their strength or their muscles. He says, so some women may say something that they do not mean. They may utter a statement that does not come from their hearts. They do not mean it. He said, so you will find a woman, if she has a problem with her husband, she will say to him, Oh, since the day I married you, until today, I never had any peace. It will be better for me if you even divorce me. He says, she says this, but she does not mean this. He says, but when the husband divorces her, you will find her, she is sad and she, she is crying. He says, so the power of the woman is in their tongue. They may say certain things that they do not mean. He said, look at our mother Aisha anha. She said to the Prophet وسلم, You speak first, but do not say anything that is not true. He says, and no doubt, we all know Aisha anha, she believes the Prophet وسلم, does not say anything except the truth. He says, but this is what happens when you have issues. The women, their power is in their tongue and they may say certain things that they did not mean. He said, but this statement angered Abu Bakr an. He said it angered him so much, he thought to himself, you say this to such a noble, honorable, respectable elder like the Prophet wasallam." He said, but look at this. This is the way of the woman. They may say certain statements that they do not mean. He says, but Abu Bakr an, he could not hold it. He got up and he hit his daughter. He said when he hit her once, he was about to hit her twice again and she got up and she ran behind the Prophet Wasallam. The Sheikh he says, well, now the problem is over because the one you had the issue with, now you're seeking protection behind him. He says, so now there is no more issue. He says, but look at the point that the Prophet Wasallam. He says the best of the men was not saved from these issues. He says him and his wife, these people who were better than us, they were not saved from these problems. They had these issues among them. He says, so if you think you will get married and you will not have these issues, then you need to correct that understanding. He says the only way 
the husband and the wife will live a successful life, a happy marriage, is if they forgive each other's faults. He asks Allah to help us. Another hadith of the Ilani Salat of Salam and Aisha Besiri Ilako Aisha Eko, the Lord is a solo. Akaya Aisha Deca Lone Ni Kamfatan Kang and in Wato Mena Nakuo Ke Konta Yanjibe. Aisha wa to do kila la kuoka kuya. Ite fana descent ni aje la musoto wande tena tete. Balu le bewo nyam wa to do la afamu. Bare along iba handu la nyam. Aisha kake la jibe. Aku Aisha ite kalon ne ni na kuye kontani se watan kalon ne ni na kuo fana ye kamfa kalon ne. To my bediaring, I've been in for a while. Problem the kid. I shall jilt a kaiko eco lonyati. Ilakai lumina no kuye contan. Nimbe kachala, nibe kalila, a buffalo war of the Muhammad. Nan kali Muhammad Marila. But lumina comfort and can nibe kalla, a buffalo war of the Ibrahim. Yankali Ibrahim Marila. I shall yell it, I yell it, I long I turn yale fire. A kaiko ha, mkao kele, but it is a bell son no more. Muka feng bori, namanke ito da mati, but it is a bell son no more. Well, and a fun tool man yolo, jikol mum de musola, jikol mum de kewola, feolo, nimolo, ete de batala. Ibe batala. Atara, the manyan na batala because kuwa nying, alhamdulillah rabbil alameen, na dino aya kwendi ma inyan na kalamoti mi alanko, e jero soto nying kuwa kwa. Alama alayin na aldema. The sheikh, he says, this is the reason why the man, he must know his wife, the woman. He says, and the same thing, this is the reason why the wife, she must know her husband. He says, it came in the hadith of the Prophet wasallam that one day he was sitting with Aisha, our mother, عنها, and he said to her, I know the times when you are angry with me, and I know the times when you are happy with me. He says, look at this. The Prophet وسلم, he knew his wife. He says, so the same thing, you must know your wife. He says, she, Aisha anha, sometimes used to be angry with the Prophet وسلم. He says, so if you see your wife angry with you, then take your time and know that this is something normal. He says, so the husband must hold himself and know that this thing of your wife being angry with you, it happens. He says, so the Prophet wasallam said to her, I know when you are happy with me and I know when you are angry with me. He said, she asked her, how? How do you know this? He said, the Prophet wasallam responded, when you are happy with me, Whenever you are swearing, you say, I swear by the Lord of Muhammad. He says, But when you are mad with me, when you are swearing, you say, I swear by the Lord of Ibrahim. He says, So this makes, when he said this, our mother Aisha, Rayanha, she laughed very much because she realized that what he said was true. He says, so yes, it may happen. And she responded, yes, indeed, that I do this, but I do not have anyone in my heart except you. He says, so this may happen among the spouses, 
that they may fight or have a dispute among them, but each one of them must know how to deal with the other. He asks Allah to help us. Musul ila hakol hasiya tale. So niya jemba dati la musul la hakola. Ke wal ben nyati limo la skeno musul ben mweka. Mwari saente nya dabe. Ke wal la. Walati namba dati la musul la hakola. Kulanja mwafana musul asembo mawara. Ala azza wa jalla asembo di kewala. Aye musul fananta aya karafa kewala. Istawsu bin nisa i khaira. Ila anyimfu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Hiji wala miyala mkaya wale ke islam wako. Wili wili lba jibi ya lai. Wala mwela. Abala khutubu lkono. Apo ngal karafa musol. Alsa al haki dotu musol. Kairo. Alsa watili musol. Ala wamu karafa wale. Ila alihi salatu wa salam. Ayen karafa musol. Wala tina mumu. Ye musol la hako nakar. Iman kila sallallahu alayhi wa sallam na wasiya taman. Fadul ibn Abbas. Ijo kono. Abe musol nyad. Abe wafula. Musol be wafula noma. Ila alihi salatu wa salam. Akai kwa rif an bil qawari. Adomon domon ninyin kabol la kabol. Ajibe. Ay musol ma mkuta muna la kabol. Nalon kabol ateyo. Asone ate. Koto ni mukara fulati Ila anihi salatu wa salam Ay musul karafa mi Walati na Momo se hakilotu ila musul la hakola Ala hakua timmandi Isembo dan tadad Isembo dan tadad Musul fana Kana kewo dunundi dunu la miyala nko Ata chika no Ndol ala yenda bari aman kanya Tango bet ذلك فضل الله يؤتي من يشاء حتى لا يعلم من الناس برا من يكون بكاني ستفهم من كاني لو يا ستباك دو ما ستباك فيت مسونيكا مول جيبي من يعلم كو يا ستباك يكمنك الى مسولي الى فت ايما يوكي بروبليم ونا عندو قال عز وجل امن لا في ولا الفت من من بيبلو يا جي كو لي ميتات Ye modo jubi mumbe duma Ye ala tentu subhanahu wa ta'ala Ni laftaka ala tentu Watu wati kamole jubi mumbe duma Bari mumbe santon Soto la karola doro Ibe boyla le Wala na musu jamaka boy u karola Bari nsola tamina jang Wale mu musu Ala azza wa jalla Yang karafa ala Wale mu ayak karafa Wala Wala atina ke wala hako fa mwale warta Musuli hako soto, kewo li hako soto. Bare, kewo la hako li wata. Wali rijali alayhi hinna daraja. Wali rijali alayhi hinna daraja. Kewo la hako li wata. Bare, kewo li fanan saalo mko ala ayin karafa musulma. Nya domun domu mefe. Anata hadithu to. Kumandu albe wa hadithu mwe. Hadithu abi urayra. Aku kila alihi salatu wa salam Kukulikatil mar'atu Min dhila'in Wa inna a'wa jama Fi dhila'i a'laha Iza jikta Tuqimuhu kassartahu Wa jaa fi ba'du Liwaya wa kasruhu Talaquha Aku yimu su dhani Karakulu la Karakulu min chikata bet Because karakulu aka chika nyami Ala jankoka Bime wala nyama. Ako nina ato ikwebe wa karikulo talaka. Tilindi kona bulu kono ngon tilinta nyami. Wala benda ngon tilinta nyami. Ako iba katila. Bie musoda wale kanyimfo kila maalihi salatu salam. Kila kafuta nintoli. Ako ye musoda ni karikulo la. Nina ato ikweba tilindi la kwech. 100% 100% mistik tije. Ako nyadi, iba katila le. So hadidho ya fasar, ala wakato wakoto muna te wale mwiba abula le. 
ye donat ikoy batili ni lakwach ye ufanambula ya kati ye donat na mede baba ate musubulo doro na mede idun ta dawa da ita sonna dile babla ababula la ito ubi kuya la munem ite lafta hundred percent hundred percent tija ngao fali atija ite fongo manke hundred percent Iba bula la aita. Pari kila yamu nifani hii salatu sa. Ako, ika jibele ko. A, nindaji ko de. Man la faala bari. Daji ka kari, ninkari bala. Alhamdulillah, wadiya kanya bat. Sayang wadaji ko nindi ate. Yewul mutasa ee fanyinandi. Wadola. Hani manding ko le kafari ko. Muso lungolo. Akabute ko le. Kebal bejar ni ko muso lungo lung akabute kuleke. Bari lungo minna ay far kuweke otumule kama. So uwe muna tandi, uya tandi ko hadiso jibe hudi katil marati mingpila. Ye muso dani nkari kulola. Nina ate ko iba tilindi la kwaj, ako iba katila. Udo, iba lono ko daji ko se taraji miya lono ate nyabu la Bari be sabar la liya jibye ko ma sha Allah na ye tabiru ke aka diyale na ye kuru ke aka seniyale wala kara kutu mo le miya lanko ayano ite fungo ya lanko ayano le so ye fanyina ndi nyin dola miya lanko hanaba diyale ye saje ini la muso sita bari hundred percent wallahi aman soto nyin dunia to jang asoto ta minto ni muldun ta aljana ala maale na albin di aljana amin The Sheikh, he says that the women they have rights. That the women they have many rights, which can be mentioned. He said, if you see, we start with the women. Even though the men are sitting in front of us and we do not see the woman, it's because number one, the woman, she has many rights. And he said number two, because the woman, she is not as strong as the man. She is weaker. So for this reason, he mentions the woman first to be a form of goodness towards the woman. He says because the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Istausu bin Nisa'i khayro," that he advised them, the Sahabas, during his farewell Hajj, to be good and be careful and do righteousness with the women. He says, "You will know then that this is something that you, the man, must be careful of." He says. If any man does this by being easy and careful and dealing rightfully with the woman, then he will be successful. He says, Fadl ibn Abbas, during the time of Hajj, he was carrying some women and he was rushing. The Prophet ﷺ told him, Rifqan, Bilkawarib. Bilkawarir. He said to him, take it easy with these women who are like bottles, like glasses. He said to him, be careful and take it easy with them. He said, look at the advice of the Prophet ﷺ. He told him to take it easy and be careful with the women. The Sheikh, he says, because the woman, she is not like the man, and she must be treated with ease and care. He says, the men, it has been placed over them a burden to take care of the woman. He says, because we are not equal. He says, the man is not like the woman, so he has been given the burden of taking care of the woman. He says, this is why Allah, or this is because Allah gives responsibilities to anyone as he wishes. And he gives, his, he gives a virtue to anyone as he wishes. 
He says, as Allah says, ذَلِكَ فَضْلُ اللَّهِ يُؤْتِهِ مَنْ يَشَاءُ That that is the bounty of Allah. He gives it to whomever he wills. The Shaykh, he says, so Allah gave the man that virtue to take care of the woman. He says, so the man must be careful not to oppress his wife. He said the same thing. The woman, she must be careful not to oppress her husband. She should not request from him things that he cannot give her. He says, and some women, they do this. They will request from their husband what he cannot give them. He says, the woman, she must look at those below them. He says, this is what Allah and his messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa advised us. To look at those below us so that we will be thankful and not to look at those above us. He says, because if you, the woman, look at those above you and you say to your husband, oh, look at so and so and so and so, what they have, I want you to get me the same thing, then you will cause problem or problems in your marriage. He says, so for you to have that ease and peace in your marriage, you must not look at those above you, but rather you should look at those below you. He says, Allah gave the men that place, that virtue over the woman, as Allah, he said, rijali alayhinna daraja, that the men, they have that position of highness above the woman. He says, so Allah gave the men this bounty and Allah gives to whoever he likes. So the men must be careful of taking care of their women. He says, it comes in the hadith of Abu Huraira, an, that the Prophet وسلم, said to them, خُلِقَتُ الْمَرْئِ خُلِقَتُ الْمَرْأَةُ مِنْ دِلَعِينَ خُلِقَتُ الْمَرْأَةُ مِنْ دِلَعِينَ He said to them that the woman was created from the rib and that rib is the most crooked part of the ribs. He said, the Sheikh is saying, meaning she was created not perfect. If you try to straighten her like the crooked rib, if you try to make it straight, you will break it. He says, so the one who created the woman is the one saying this. He says, meaning Allah is the one saying this, that the woman, she is not complete. She is not 100%. He said the same thing, the man as well, he is not complete. He is not 100%. So he can make mistakes. He says, but the man must be careful and take good care of his wife. He says, because if he tries to straighten her, he will break her. He says, breaking her means he will divorce her, as the other narration clarifies. He says, so you must try to live with them according to how they are. If you try to straighten them, you will break them. He says, meaning you will divorce them. He says, and if you do so, because you are seeking to find a perfect wife, you will divorce her, and then you will go and marry somebody else, and then you will find faults with her, and then you will divorce that one as well, and then you will go and marry another person, and then the same thing, you will find faults with her as well, and then you will divorce her, until now the people will know you as someone who just divorces women. They will say, oh, this man, all he does is marry women and then divorce them. He says, and this will be your state until if you go to look for a wife, the people will say, no, you will not give him a wife. This man, all he does is marry and then divorce. He says, so do not look at the faults of your wife, but rather do as the Prophet wasallam advised us to look at their good characters. He says, even though the Sheikh is saying, even though you may find certain things that are not pleasing to you, you will find other things that are pleasing to you and make you happy. He says, so do not focus on her bad characters, but rather focus on her many good characters. He says, like she knows how to clean, she talks good, she does well, she cooks well. He says, focus on those things and this will make you live nicely. He says, it is as our people, they say, he says, they have a saying in Mandinka that the woman, every day, 
she may do something that deserves punishment that deserve that deserves a beating he says but they say you do not punish her until she does something that reaches the extent of killing he says then you punish her he says meaning you divorce her he says so do not focus on their bad deeds but rather focus on their good characters so that this will enable you to live well he asks allah to grant us jannah wa to ni asitala atara kachanyi ya mala tuta ya sayan fa ma suti yanni sadi tasalli musho akiliya tala musho akalati ikajalan inde mujiko lati yalon kabe musho Aisha radiyallahu anha anni kila rasiri ilaka ya Aisha ya je nyadi ni fata nyala ifata ni ku ni kasanke na salima ni bade Aisha ya je ka ite ikorondo to wata Aisha je ta ya manyo dila ya nati na nyimbo ko sikirin ila ya ila jalata 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 fo atankal fo dita beti ya ila muso jale kiliya yeni wolada bari muso fana se hakilo to kiliya nyalon ko atambita se la futo tinyano muso se hakilo to je bari kew fana salon ko kiliya ka tarje ila ani his salatu salam be siri ana la sahaba wal kachala musudo nata la minano kabo la bimbal la sunkuto de kenurki bolo babulu domoro beje sunkuto futata muso futata ko ila musukari ko nganyi ndira to domoro le miyalon ko ala wo muso yaaje ko kila sa salama kala fe nyin domoro la ko mbatu nganyi bo bari ayata ra aisha la singwa be wala ta aisha la bu mokal o muso futa ta ni o bolo kari ko ngani ndila ila muso kari ko ngani ndila aisha ton ta wala nya maraka e bolo ni ko ndep bolo teita fetan domoro janjan min telen wala ita la me be kala nya kurfenyo Wolde wulay ba mount lay ba tamfula astaghfirullah ila jibi sallallahu alayhi wasallam ay munake awul ta wulay nya ma do moro kabo nyoma ya ke bol do to ako sahabu ne ko kulu gharat ummukum al do moro ke al ba ma kiliyata adada aisha la bolo to ay bolo jibe mi alon ko ni bolo amulun da be mu kilimu lati ay wo bolo chika ay wo di mola mi ya do morona ka ni bolo sendi ali aji be ka problem o sol ni ali ala ma ale na de ma amin ya rabbi musol e se hakilo to kewol to kewol wala musol la alfa musol musol iman som kewol la alfa ya la iman som ala la kitio ala na musol fana nyen ne hakilo to la ya wala hako awarta baake baak na fono njang ko dula dole ba hadithu kila alayhi salatu wassalam kabire nyon ko mo sujud tay sahabu ne waje ko de sujud la ko hani ako na tara be dala ka mo yamare ay sujudo ke moye den dum be musole yamare la ay sujudo ke ake mai ويا تنك يا رفا كولا حقو مسوكا والله اورت باك الى ان فصل الله سلام مسو مسو يا لونكو ايلا سلوات لولول سلي انا تعالى سنكر سو انا تعالى ياتو تنكا انا تبلا اكيما نوما من دكلا على جوتي يوم القيامه ابي الجن بندال بلا يلالا ando atata fa bunda sey ikaye ko ajube itebe bunda min tombonna pour ka dum aljana 
ai wasu to minto duku wanda to fa mu so sake ma ba mu so ike ma ko si si bani ke ma ko si ko bang de pa so mi alon ko ala aya ke la hakoti ke wo kan aya wo hakko ni wulindi le sain aman waji biya ke wo ma aya dila ko ta kanata kanata man la fi in kari kata na kanata man la fi kari nati nabu ngo kono kana nati nimbe mu ke wo la hakko le te ye fandiyala kana ke muti ni alon ko be fam bali le ke wo la ani mu so jamma ka Allahu dol fala ka ke wo dol la problem mo mai do ko nya ko nte mo so na ben la la ni jini kurdo le ke la min kam ma ko akana kata ana ta hadithu do ila ko alayhi salatu wassalam mu so mu so nya ko e ke ma ya ke la ra wa ye banga ma e man song a tara dalil tije ako malaikul ke danka malaikul ke danka fo fano ke na tara su dole riwayado bi ya ko malaikul ke danka ake danka fo e ke ma ya dunya ay songe ma ay kontane la fo Alia ye nyaadi ni mo kendo e dan karoke sakantuma malaiko me yanko ne ne man alaso musol se hakilo to ni mo wala dale ti mi yanko to nya to nya akuma ta mol kanyo kacanda bari wato la deto sa danjam insha allah ne murula ka de sheikh He says that the time is close but there is many things or there are many things rather to mention he says but he will try to make it short so that we can pray he says he wants to make a point to the men so that they can know that the woman is a jealous person by nature He says the woman loves to be made happy she loves to be made happy and sitting with her husband and having or making jokes with him he says no that the woman is a jealous person he says it came in the hadith that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said to our mother aisha ya aisha radhiyallahu anha if you see Do you see if you were to die before me if you were to die first before me and then I perform your janaza wash your body and pray over you how would that be he said then our mother radiyallahu anha said to him oh you are in a hurry for me to die so you can bring another wife in my in my place he said the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam laughed so much to the extent that his teeth the molar teeth was showing he says so no that the women are jealous by nature he said but the women or oh women be careful too much jealousy can cause destruction he says but the point he is referring to or he wants to make he wants to remind the men to know that the women are jealous by nature he said it happened he came in the hadith that there was a servant girl she brought some food to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said but the food came from one of his wives while he was sitting in the house of aisha radhiyallahu anha so he was there with aisha radhiyallahu anha and a servant girl she came and she brought some food and she told the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam this food is from your wife so and so he said so aisha was standing there she hit the bowl and it broke and the food fell and everything scattered on the floor he says so pay attention to this look at what the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he did he says if it's one of us as soon as your wife hit that bowl you will get up and smack her he says you will punch her some may even kick her so hardly because of the fact that she hit the bowl that came from another wife He says but look at the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam what he did 
he gathered the food he put it in a bowl and he gave it to the sahabas he told them kulu gharat ummukum eat from this food indeed your mother has become jealous he says subhanallah look at the character the manner of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he did not react badly he got up he took the bowl he gathered the food and he gave it away to the sahabas he said the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam did not stop there because the bowl the original bowl was broken he went into aisha's kitchen he took a bowl that looked almost the same as the original bowl he gave it to the servant girl he told her take this back he says look at the wisdom of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and how he solved this problem he say may allah help us he says so no to be a good leader you must know how to deal with the women he says the men indeed have many rights over the women he said the men have more rights over their women than the women have rights over their men he says it came in the hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when the camel made sujood prostration to him and the sahabas when they saw the animal making prostration to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam they also wanted to make prostration sujood to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said what did the prophet say to them he stopped them from making the prostration then he told them if i were to order and command anyone to make sujood for any human being I would have told the wife to make sujood for her husband. He says Allahu Akbar. So know that the right of the husband over the woman is greater than the right of the woman over her husband. He says it came in another hadith where the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said if the woman she prays her five daily prayers, she fast her Ramadan, she protects her private part and then she obeys her husband, it will be told to her enter from paradise enter into paradise rather from whichever gate that you wish he said it may be up to eight gates it will be told to her enter from whichever gate that you wish he says why did she get this reward he said because of obeying her husband he says so no that following and obeying your husband will only result into good for you o woman he says you should not be a wife whom her husband says to her sit do not go out and you refuse you should not be a wife who her husband says to her do not go out with such and such person or do not befriend such and such person and you say or you reject or you refuse you say no he says you should not be a woman whom her husband says to her do not let so and so person come into our, our house and you refuse and you say no and you let those people come into the house He says this will indeed lead to destruction. He says it came in the hadith that if the woman she refuses she refuses to obey her husband he says to the extent that what we see some women when they sleep he says some men they narrate this that the woman she wears clothing like the jeans that will stop her husband from being intimate with her. He says This is from the things that causes disobedience of the woman to her husband. He says in the hadith it says if any woman she refuses intimacy with her husband without right unjustly the angels they curse her if it's the night time all the way to the morning. He says in another narration they curse her until her husband is pleased with her. He says look at this if it's a good person who is making a curse upon you this is accepted what about the angels who have no sins with them if they curse if they send a curse to upon a person will allah not accept that he makes dua and asks allah to protect us kama kan la bango me mol be tendula
الحمد لله رب العالمين صلى الله وسلم وبارك على محمد على اله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا وما كريسي وصل غريب ما كنت اكون ما انا قلت على فايل اور وكن نشي كي انا ما انا هي مايكروفونيك تمام وما كنا ندرو انا dengan dengan hari ketiga mandi belum nunda, udah na kereta insya Allah, udah belum hari ini juga mula tahu kami akan bawa, ada yang mau guna kau ni, ada kan yang ada itu sih, ini baru nak gol lagi, ini tinggi mandi mana dua meter na sah. Bermul di kontena, kaljai. Kal tendo, be wadatila Imam Abdullah ibn Jaba, aning kata Imam Sogna, aning Imam Kaba, aning Imam Jagana, aning Imam Musa, ka alfal minjamu kana ustadul. Betul tu KJ Salilal B New York City jam, aning Atlanta, aning Ohio, kal betul tu di Momo di Amerika ke betul tu KJ. Ka kau jaga tu, anala dimbal kontor, aning funding kewal, kal betul tu KJ nga bunya soto jam bunya miya non ko amante ko ite jam tala ka ala dani asa yam pambema ala maala yam pambema na nyokanu ala le kamma ala maala yam nalbendi jannat al firdaus ugayri hisab me yam fo dani la Nga kumafo miyalong kaya mo barama Na manke na natoti masa ya mfanya Nga kumo mimfo abe keta tini ngoti Akata baraja oti Ala ma alay nazi baraja ala Mifondi nke wali ya marila Kisuti ya nyi alfala hindo koke Ekatela Ekarango ke ibulu Mantabe mbale Nimbo sifa albe nyato Pandeng kewal saya ala ten, saya ala jai. Alfa alfa nan saya ala ten, saya ala jai. Ini yang pandeng ke si falsot ni alam kui hakilo ayir wata. Ibe di nak kuatu. Bal karafala minna oleh mu alat. Mu mu bedawa da ini ala sabarak wata ala isi hakilo tuje. Ini syaitan oleh marsa ibu ita isi buri. Ibu lo se alamah. Ala, akatubu mutale. Ala, ayihina usoto. Ala, jongwalye. Ala, maale nalbe natubu muta. Ayi majinubu al-kafa. Albe nyinendiru la, ala maale asone anda al-bulu. Ala maale al-tanka. Ala dimba al-tanka. Ala dino tanka. Ayi nalso si jongwala. Ani jate kendea. Ani harje firimo. Ani laba nyanyimma. Hada wa sallallahu nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajmin. Barakatuhu. The Sheikh, he says, May Allah protect him. His last statement, he would like to thank everyone. He says, he would like to thank each and every one of us present here. And he will start by thanking Imam Bajaga and all the other Imams, Imam Sohna, Imam Kaba, 
Imam Baba Jagana, Imam Musa, he greets and thanks you all. He says rather he would like to thank all of the brothers, all the brothers here in New York City, all the brothers in Atlanta, and all the brothers in Ohio. He says he would like to thank our brother Saad Kaujete and his family for their hospitality. And he greets you all and he would like to thank you all for this hospitality. He says he has been received in such a beautiful manner and we ha you have been so kind to him in a way that he does not deserve. But indeed he is deserving of it. May Allah be pleased with him. He makes dua and asks Allah to grant us all Jannah. He asks Allah to forgive all of us. He says he seeks your forgiveness if he says anything that which is not correct and it may have hurt you. He asks you to forgive him and asks Allah to forgive him as well. He says anything that he says of good, then it is indeed from Allah and he asks Allah to reward you and him for that good. He advises the youth. He says he will advise you to stay close to these imams and these teachers and learn from them. He says stay close to them and learn your religion from them. He says indeed it is a bounty from Allah if you find some such people among you who can teach you your religion. He says, so he advised you to hold on to your deen and hold on to these elders. He says the same thing he would like to advise the elders to thank Allah for these youth. That if they find people like this among them, to thank Allah and hold on to them as well. He says he will leave us in the hands of Allah. He says, indeed, whoever among us makes a mistake, commits an error and shaitan overtakes him, let him seek forgiveness from Allah. Indeed, Allah is most forgiving, most merciful, and he accepts repentance. He says, so he leaves us in the hands of Allah, and he asks Allah to help us and our families. He asks Allah to protect us and our families. He asks Allah to protect our deen. He asks Allah to grant all of us good life and long life. He asks Allah to bless all of us and grant all of us a good ending. May Allah reward him. He stops there. <coughs>
aganchuro matke ganaya ganaka kinchuro ona kuna ke hamiru la sama subui alla kinya kama awani mele agani oyu adu kuya khamu khamu oyu adu kuya khamu adu kuya nuka babu odi ga meke suna ke kafa alla ga dura ta ga alla mo ta ga no warato biya kundu Ubiri ne kamu otuna, otak tegani bubu ituna, ada koda ngani ada laba ndara kurani, ona laba na kita kamu, ada koda ada laba ndi ada kurani, ala moto ngoma tukundu, ada koma sukura sura, endi koi koi, osi gira kenya ndi kebe, oya gama kentu, aga bone be sabu ndi kem bone ga horno. Ahakke be boda nani ya arku kamma Allah ban tanya ni boda ngari odi nandi ato oya na tu bona golite ya arunka ihakke ni mani iki nanu da mani Allah ma ta wa qalli ada Allah ban dan ya allum budi do mena abari be su gana ka ni si gran to su angani ke de kan no bondu an golite yan tere te aya ken bi renga ke ta kanga sigi soro tekebe kamma agemwe o misale na go takaye nya kubeke angana kanji ginja galla sili be kamma soro tekebe kamma kinga masoro kube nga genne ade kendre na o kuyugo ga mo hakkan to waga kuda kuda mo wonbe bi munundo sabaru be gan kawo ma o sigira tenga kawa ke mo ma ken paga ya garuka gallenga ni kebe ibara Ida Amriki Jarajanda Kimanda Valyonga Ida Kemutu 99911 Sahatinga Na Yuhoho Koko La Tenga Ken Anka Wan Tenga Na Nyaga Kenye Ammu Muran Di Nanga Ken Brenga Keta Demu Benu Gan Nisari Kun Gondi Yerni Tau Soropia Kama Keba Tau Tenga Iti Kanguru Dan Tenga Ni Kajunya Ken Brenga Yuhu Yakaru Ona saya seling kini orang kulla puma corona teringka ona pahamu ogan tu hak kuntu orang kaya misudunga alma minum mama angano umi sulung pai nak keramun dinda nung pai adu no jaman pakem pai soro beru kat tahun nanti kuah hajun nanti nama kuah hajun ni ini nanti yang mama ancam demenga ambut tengah hoi misud seringa ambut tengah hoi seringa Omi suru kuduru nini ikaran tu nini? Di sini bego makan lagi ho on tak kembali. Kang ngan ada kan nak karam mohon kunyi ni ambil suru ku no kundi dar suru ku akat tengah. So dan dan tu, angkian nanti nanti nunan tu kaji di kamo. Jam kodi nanti nana ho tu, anda ada kan kari nanya kejaga tahu ni nanti awak karam mohon alma minun dah kia kau mesti lebih lagi. Anda kan karam mohon, anjir mentah, anjir sengkana tu di kamo. Lembu kari kena kundi. Yang hari ini akan kanta. Yang kari problem. Lembu ni kena kundi. Yang berenga. Ibu, ya karu. Orang tu waktu orang di nanga ona. Agar muro maga mukon beri orang nak kundi tu kundunga. Lembu nuka. Ada agak lagi kena kari. Di nak kena kama. Di nak ke anak kama. Agak di nak kena tu goni nanti. Agak di nak ke. Agak di nak ke. Ke kena tu goda akaya. Nimu sawaga kita ke zaman ini nukun di, kami gamat serasa kita abadah. Paski, agak pun mana suhut tenangnya, ikun di nanti tembeng di mana, ikun di titi ayah, agak pun mereka ikun arna agak pun mereka ikan leba, ayi, ikun arna warad agak pun baca ngapa, ayi, kendera agak kalle, di nanti ada tembeng serik bega agak mereka, agak kadang kadang hafal mereka agak malu mereka, kami gamat nere ayah, kadang titi titi. Kanan nanti juga akan di, agak gunung ke beron di, agak teruk ke beron di, agak kuni ke beron di. Kadang kadang teruk atau serem tenan nanti juga agak punya di, anak agak kandanya, agak punya juga untuk serem tenan di. Akan di terum botak nanti terak terum botak. Ada tikar lebih nanti di, hari intens juga orang nanti turun dua kali. Agak suhu serem tenan anda kaya ampasanga, anda kaya wanka, anda kaya wanu bawa sura mena. Akan masuk lagi kendi, agak punya juga untuk kundi. لا إله إلا الله. على سيخنا فرد جمكو. كن كسر كسر كسر.
kanan orang kulla untuk dengar siri kalau kat teruk tua siri tenan anjung warga di nanti kami kama aham pasia aham fanyun dia anjung warga di nanti dah ramai tema mereka jam pasu siri tenan siri dek kama anjing ni akan awal orang kau mati kan anjung kene oh kau tenan tengah hari kene mohon beri abang ni dah ramai kan ustaz bang dah ramai kan guru tiga beri nama kan hidup ada kat teruk tua kari kata ni seluma kari kata keramu seluma Aku keramu orang aku almamin karinya kan menjamu, aku di midoni ina kawar cinta. Amak semua nanti akan cinta. Info sotu yang di kawar itu almamin aku baca. Kadang kadang aku rapun yang kuat almamin karun yang musuh pun aku di. Kenyan akan nak nak insya Allah Allah ganda syekhna Allah ganda. Bakira wujud ini, nahu kita kini orang itu Allah kan doa orang tak Allah kan doa korosi Allah kan tak kini orang dah lagi hari ini pun doa haru Allah kan doa kami pun di boleh pun hari pun malu dah yang hari malu Allah kan dah ibu rakyat ini terlalu penting kama Allah kan di sebab ini Allah kini di kama Allah kan tak ibu saya tu mandor di Rasulullah dan Nabi Muhammad yang mahal di masa ini. الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول